Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differentiation. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us f of x is x cubed minus x squared f dash 1 plus x f double dash 2 minus f triple dash 3 where they are telling us x belongs to all real numbers. And then if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us here, it says the first one, 2f of 0 minus f of 1 plus f of 3 is equals to f of 2. The second one, it's f of 1 plus f of 2 plus f of 3 is equal to f of 0. The third answer choice, it's telling us f of 3 minus f of 2 is equals to f of 1 and the last answer choice it's telling me 3 f of 1 plus f of 2 is equals to f of 3. So we have this four answer choices given. Let's figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question which is given to us. So f of x if I see it's told to me x cubed minus x squared f dash of 1. So f dash of 1, if I see it's nothing but a constant value. So let's plug in that as a. f double dash of 2, let's plug in that as b and let's plug the third one as c. So my function becomes x cubed minus ax squared plus bx minus c. So I have this function with me f of x. Let's differentiate it. So you get f dash of x equals 3x squared minus 2ax plus b because derivative of x is 1 and derivative of this constant is 0. f double dash x, it tells me 6x minus 2a and f triple dash x, if I take the differentiation again, it becomes just 6. Now let's plug in the values and find the values for a, b, c. So it's told to me f triple dash of 3, we have taken it as c. So if I put here x as 3, f triple dash of 3 basically becomes 6 and we put that as c so c becomes 6. I have the value of constant c. Now let's put f double dash of 2. So instead of x if I put 2 here f double dash of 2 becomes 6 into 2 minus 2a. So that makes it 12 minus 2a and once I get this f double dash of 2 was the value that we put as a constant b. So b becomes 12 minus 2a and that further gives me 2a plus b equals 12. So that is one equation that we have in terms of a and b. Let's put f dash 1 as a. So I'm putting x as 1 here. So if I put x as 1 here, I get 3 into 1 squared minus 2a into 1 plus b. That gives me 3 minus 2a plus b and f dash of 1 that was given to us as a. So I get from here 3 plus b minus 2a equals a. So that gives me 3 plus b equals 3a. So I have again an equation 3a minus b equals 3. So let's take it as equation 2. This is equation 1. If I solve these two equations that are given to me to find the values of a and b, I have 2a plus b as 12. I have 3a minus b as 3. If I add it all, I get 5a is 15. And from there, I get a as 3. Once I have a, I'll put that in the equation. Let's put it in the first one. So from there, I get 6 plus b is 12. And b from there becomes 6. So I have all the three values, a3, b6, and c is also 6. That basically makes your function f of x as x cubed minus ax squared. So it becomes 3x squared plus bx, so 6x minus c, which is 6. So I have the function's value f of x with me. Now, once I have it in the equation, if you see, the answer choices are asking us to find f of 0, f of 1, f of 2, f of 3. So we'll put all the values of x from 0, 1, 2, and 3 and verify the answer choices. So if I see here, 0 if I put 
I get all the first three terms turning out to become zero. That makes f of zero minus six. If I put f of one, one cube minus three into one square plus six into one minus six. So one minus three plus six minus six. So this gets cancelled and you get minus two. f of two, two cube is eight minus three into two square, which is twelve. Six into two again twelve, and this cancels. So you have eight minus six as two. f of three. So if you put three cube twenty seven minus three into three square, which is again twenty seven. So this gets cancelled, and six into three is eighteen minus six, which is twelve again. Okay. So I have this values with me. Now let's see if my first answer choice matches and gives this equal to f of two. So two times f of zero. So I have f of zero as minus six minus f of one. So f of one is minus two plus f of three. That's basically twelve and f of two. It should be equal to. So it should be two. So let's verify. So two into minus six is minus twelve plus two plus twelve equals two. So from here I get two equals two. That tells me left hand side and right hand side are equal to each other. So if I see my first answer choice directly gives me the answer and that's verified. So I don't even need to check the other three answer choices because you have only one correct answer and that makes it as option A. So A becomes the correct answer here for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of using the concepts of differentiation. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic, and we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel. and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on jwe so they can also take the benefit from this questions which we are solving on everyday basis thank you